I decided to make a short video here illustrating my attempts at removing undercoating from a 1966 Saab Monte Carlo 850 I'm restoring. I know a lot of people use air hammers and chisels I didn't like that very well. So I bought a Harbor Freight needle scale that's a larger version of the two rather hefty. I have it set on the, the lightest setting there. The other method I'd I use is my uh, trusty Makita angle grinder with a uh, Springer bead wheel in it, just a, an aggressive wire wheel. I'll show them both here. I like them both some for different reasons, and and they both have problems. I started a spot here with the needle scaler. It's a little bit hard to start. Initially, you can see I chewed up the metal a little bit, not too bad. But once you get going, it's not so bad. And I'll, and I'll demonstrate a little bit. thing I like about the needle scaler, it'll get in tight areas here where I can't get the wire brush in or anything else. I'll <clears throat> get this little spot here. you can see very well but it, it got that pretty good there's a little bit of rust in there and you can see the needle scale leaves marks on the metal for underbody it doesn't matter much so it's going to be painted and primed again and now I'll clean a spot with the uh, Makita show you how that works I think you get the idea there. You can see, you saw a lot of the black overspray sticking here. The undercoating gets hot and then it flies off and sticks, but you can wipe it off. The stringer bead takes you right down to bare metal, which is one nice thing. And it doesn't do any metal damage, but it won't get in spots like this. And when you're done, you got black soot. <coughs> in your hair, all over your body, all over the floor and everything else where the, the needle scaler gets it to come off in chunks. So some places I use the needle scaler, some places I use the stringer bead wheel. But that should give you a pretty good idea of how each method works. And I know the, I don't know of any other better method except to, to heat the stuff and melt it off and that's, that's messy. This is the way I'm going to go. Um, maybe I'll make a little, another video later on when I'm done to 
show you what the car looks like. So that's it for now. And here I'm back right away because I realized that after looking at the first video clip that I had my shoulder in the way when I was using the needle scaler. So I'm going to do a little more with the needle scaler and show you a few close-ups of the results. I'm going to try to do first try. I'm going to hit this with the wire wheel and, and see how smooth that comes. See how bad that damage to the metal really is. camera off and give you some close-up views here. This is that little recessed area I did. You can see I've got in there. And there's uh lost myself here there's brushed up in here but it took the undercoating off up in here pretty pretty well. Now back over here that's an area I did with the needle scaler. You can see after I hit it with the wire wheel that there wasn't too much metal damage. There are scars in there though. It's not as bad as it initially looked. And here's the area that I, that I just did, but it looks worse than it is because some of the paint's cleaned off and some of it isn't, but hitting it with a wire wheel will clean that up pretty good. So, again, I should mention first, so this, these old saws had really thick, really heavy, really hard undercoating. So if it works this well, on a saw but it'll work this well on anything out there so that's it for now I hope you learned something from this